Good morning to all of you. Myself, Professor Yenv Harpe from SND College of Engineering and Research Center, Ewa. Uh, so we are we are discussing today's uh, in today's video discussing the new topic of force that is electrical measurement and instrumentation. Now in previous video we have started the new topic that is oscilloscope. In that, uh, in previous video, we studied the, the definition of oscilloscope and the function of oscilloscope. And uh, the CRO panel, the CRO panel construction. Now, today we are discussing the new topic that is block diagram of CRO, that is cathode ray oscilloscope. This is your screen. This is used for showing the waveform. Showing the waveform. But how to how to generate this waveform from the input supply? This will be happen in that block diagram. This will be happen in that block diagram. First, input voltage is given to the vertical amplifier. Input voltage is given to the vertical amplifier. This uh, vertical amplifier, the weak signals, the weak signal which will be convert, which will be amplified, which will be amplified and cut convert it into strong signal. Then again, this will be going uh, transferred to the delay line. Delay line. This will generate the delay. Generate the delay. Again, second is this is your triggering circuit. The triggering circuit which will generate the pulse. Uh, generate the generate the uh, speed. Square wave and this will give on to the time based generator. And according to that, the time value, the, the time which is required or the time period for of the waveform should be generated. And after that, the horizontal amplifier, the signal which will be amplified horizontally, and this will give to the horizontal deflection plate and the delay line output given to the vertical deflection plate and according to that the plate will be dis, uh, the plates will be deflect from each other deflect from each other and the electron gun electron gun strikes the electron on the crt screen on the crt this is your block diagram. So, one by one discussing, uh, we will discuss the one by one in a drip, drip manner. First one is drip manner, vertical amplifier. The input signals are generally being weak signals unable to provide measurable deflection. Suppose the weak signal is given to the input signal, then this will be unable to measurable, unable to measurable. Hence, we require the vertical amplifier. This will be amplifies the weak input signal into the measurable deflection on the screen. Means the weak signal which will be converted into measurable, uh, measurable signal, means amplifies the signal. If amplifies input, amplifier stages are generally wideband amplifier. That we use the wideband amplifier so that they can pass the entire band of frequencies to be measured. And then this amplifier also contains the attenuator which brings the signal level to a proper range of operation. 
which will generate the signal for the proper uh, operation. Next is delay line. This is the output. Uh, the output of particular amplifier which is given to the delay line. The delay line is used to delay the signal for the some time in the vertical section. In the vertical section, the delay line provides the some delay. Provides some delay and after that, the signal will be shown. The signal applied to horizontal deflection plate how to cross trigger circuit. This is your given to the trigger circuit. Signal of horizontal deflection plate. How to cross trigger circuit, time-based generator and horizontal amplifier. So, so there is a time delay for the signal to reach to deflection plates that is your horizontal plate. Means there are three stages for the deflection of uh, deflection, uh, horizontal deflection plates. That is your first trigger circuit, time based generator, and horizontal amplifier. Now, the signal for vertical plates and horizontal plates must arrive at same time means the both the signal to the vertical plates and horizontal plates which will be given at the same time therefore you can generate the horizontal as well as vertical waveform in a same time or at a same time now the signal for vertical plates and horizontal plates must arrive at same time so to provide delay to the signal reaching vertical deflection plate, delay line is means for generating the delay for the vertical deflection plate, use the delay line. This is your delay line. Up. This will be provided because the time required to generate the horizontal plate, deflection plate, uh, is more than the vertical amplifier. That's why we use the delay line. Next one is triggering circuit. Trigger circuit to synchronize the horizontal deflection with vertical deflection. A synchronizing and triggering circuit is for synchronizing means uh, to match the uh, timing of horizontal deflection and vertical deflection, we use the trigger circuit or synchronizing circuit. The circuit ensures that the horizontal sweep, horizontal sweep begins at the horizontal sweep begins at the same point of vertical input signal. Therefore, this circuit converts the incoming in signal to triggering pulses, which will be generate the pulse, continuous pulses. These pulses are used for synchronization. These pulses are used for synchronization. Synchronization. Next is the word. Time based generator. It is used to generate sawtooth voltage. The voltage deflects the beam in the horizontal direction. Means the time based generator converts the square wave into the sawtooth waveform. Due to this voltage, the spot on CRT, that is cathode ray tube, is deflected at a constant time dependent. Rate at a time rate, the x axis on screen is represented as time axis, which helps to display and analyze time varying signal. The x axis on the screen, which will be used for the 
for representation of time time uh, time for the uh, for analyze the, the signal which will be depend on the or which will be varies with respect to time this is your time period on the x axis next horizontal amplifier for two voltage produced by time based generator may not be sufficient strain to a level which is required for horizontal plate of crt means this is not sufficient for generating the uh, for generating the uh, horizontal deflection on the uh, on the cro the horizontal amplifier amplifies the signal generated by the time based generator generator now this amplified signal is applied to horizontal deflection plate means after the amplifying the signal the output of that horizontal amplifier which will given to the horizontal deflection plate and according to that the deflection will be produced in the horizontal plate and as the vertical deflection and horizontal plate deflection are produced and then the according to that the electron gun provides the uh, uh, strike the electrons on the screen and uh, your form will be show on the screen next is your crt that is your cathode ray tube in crt the electrons are emitted from a cathode accelerated to a high velocity and brought to focus on fluorescent means the electrons will be generated from the electron gun and this will be this will be strike accelerated and with the high velocity and this will be brought to focus this will be this will be used to focus on fluorescent screen this screen produces a visible spot where the electron beam strike by deflecting the beam this will be generate a one spot only when the beam strike by deflecting the beam over the screen in response to the electrical signal the electrons can be made to work as an electrical pencil of light which produces a spot of light whenever it strike means as the the elect uh, as the electron flows or strike on the screen then at that time they will produce a one one spot only they will be produce an one spot next power supply the power supply which is used to the operate the uh, crt it provide the voltage required by crt to generate and accelerate the electron beam and voltage required by other circuits of the oscilloscope like vertical amplifier horizontal amplifier etc high voltage and low voltage high voltage is required by crt in order to 1000 volt to 1500 volt this applied high voltage is of negative polarity and the low voltage is required for heater of the electron gun which emits the electron it will be produce the electrons this is a positive voltage about few hundred volt this voltage is also used for all other circuits of cro that is horizontal amplifier vertical amplifier like that this is your crt and power supply next crt crt a vacuum sealed glass envelope that has a source of electron which emits electrons that are that are accelerated to pass pass through two pairs of plates 
before striking a phosphor coated screen internally so as to provide a visual display of signal means when the elect electrons will be uh, strike from the electron beam then it will be passes through two pairs of plates that is horizontal plates and vertical plates next and last topic is electron gun the source of accelerated and energized accelerated energized and focused beam of electrons the heater to heat the cathode the heater which is used to heat the cathode cathode generates the electrons and coated with a layer of barium oxide next is your control grid grid made up of nickel control and number of electrons intensity is also controlled by using the control pre accelerating and accelerating anode accelerate the electrons connected to a, a common positive potential of 1500 volt and the focusing anode is focus the electron beam connected to a potential of 500 volt this is your block diagram of cro that is cathode ray oscilloscope and all the functions of your block this is your block diagram of cro and the explanation of cro so in uh, next lecture you can see the the uh, how to measure how to measure voltage current amplitude and frequency and time period by using cro okay so stop here